I find it a bit astounding that people uh, right out of the box are saying there's no mm -hmm. foreign connection mm -hmm. whatsoever, uh, when the fact is the FBI has just begun their investigation. So you know, as a former federal prosecutor, I reserve judgment until all the evidence is in, and quite frankly, all the evidence is not in. But one thing is certain, uh, whether it was uh, foreign-driven dr or uh, uh, homegrown, is that this was foreign-inspired. Mm -hmm. uh, when you look at the YouTube website that the older brother put up after he came mm -hmm. back from the Chechen region, which is a very dangerous part of the world, uh, it's filled with jihadist uh, websites, uh, uh, very violent websites. And, and so something happened to him. Uh, he radicalized. We just don't know when and where. And you're assuming the older brother is the driving force here, that that's the picture that emerges. It appears that way, just like any older brother is, you know, and, and the older brother is the one who made the travels. And, um, you know, our assessment, and it's early on, but the level of sophistication of these devices, uh, many of which we've seen in Pakistan and Afghanistan, the way they've ha handled them so professionally uh, leads a lot of us to believe that there was some sort of training done uh, by others. Mm -hmm. And one uh, unanswered question is, are those trainers uh, overseas? in the Chechen region, or are they in the United States? And 